Our future is in our hands. Quite literally, with the latest technologies that our scientists have been able to push out, especially in the realm of genetic editing. But what does that mean for the future of humans? First, let's take a look at the tools that we have created for this very purpose. CRISPR is a family of DNA found in bacteria that helps it fight viruses. It is a series of repeated sequences that is inherited by bacteria as it fights off infections. Cas9, a protein inside the bacteria, will attempt to detect viruses by comparing foreign DNA to that of CRISPR. And once it finds a match, Cas9 will cut the DNA, rendering it useless. This is what referred to as the CRISPR-Cas9 system, or CRISPR for short. Recently, scientists discovered that the CRISPR is programmable, meaning that we can give the Cas9 protein a copy of DNA that we specifically want to modify. What's great is that CRISPR does not only work with bacteria, but it also can be applied with microorganisms, plants, animals, and even humans. So we have just discussed the recent developments of genetic technology, but where does that bring us? For genetic tools such as CRISPR, we can use it to edit away undesirable genetic traits with greater precision, efficiency, and reliability than ever before. It has paved the way for us to do what was previously unthinkable, modifying embryos, or in other words, the creation of designer babies. Especially with the help of gene sequencing, we are not only able to identify genetic diseases in embryos, but are now empowered with the ability to edit out these genes and replace them with healthier ones. There is indeed a wide list of benefits that this technology can bring to the human race, such as decreasing infant mortality, increasing longevity, improving overall health, and even getting rid of future generations from a multitude of hereditary diseases. But how far can we even go with CRISPR? Also, if we are able to cure and prevent genetic diseases, what other uses can this technology have? With a sequencing of genes, we are not only able to map out and identify genetic diseases, but we can also determine other traits such as hair color, height, and even eyesight. So as we delve into a reality where we may cure the future generations from diseases, what's stopping us from altering these other traits? If you can choose to cure your child from Huntington's disease, why not give them enhanced metabolism while you're at it? Nearly half of Americans surveyed by the Pew Research Center say that changing a baby's genetic characteristics to reduce the risk of disease is okay. But however, 83% of Americans say that the idea of designer babies is taking things too far. There is no definite line that differentiates the augmentation of humans with curing diseases. It ultimately comes down to our personal beliefs and moral compass. Currently, there is much debate on the views of augmenting humans in our society. Just take a look at different countries' disparate laws on such matters. This just illustrates our disagreement on what is ethically correct in regards to modifying humans. But how effective are these laws anyway? Well, not very. A couple that wants to modify their children and lives in a country that doesn't allow genetic augmentation can just simply move to another country that allows it in order to get their child to undergo the procedure. Scientists are currently unable to identify the specific genes that are directly linked to intelligence traits, so the possibility of superintelligent humans seems rather unlikely in the present of today. However, there is plenty of research being done in trying to find them. We once thought that technology like CRISPR was impossible before, but just look where we are now. It's only a matter of time that we'll be creating babies with enhanced intelligence. This might sound great at first, as it gives us a chance at improving our economy with greater innovations stemmed by a workforce of children or humans with increased productive capacity. But imagine a future where everyone is in favor of supersizing their children's intelligence and other traits. Every child would be born with enhanced abilities and appearances. Well, only if all parents could afford it in the first place. Right now, the current price of a standard IVF is at a hefty $20,000. Adding on to the price of genetic testing, egg donations, and a surrogate mother, the cost can easily rise up to a hundred thousand dollars. Evidently, not everyone will be able to experience the perks of genetic editing. As such, the phenomenon of designer babies may only exacerbate the income gap that is already present in society today. Only the rich will have the ability to afford such technology, leaving only them in possession of superior traits to be passed to their children. Coupled with the fact that these traits will likely make their children more successful in life, 
such as increased immunity to pandemics or even look better, it could just add on to the burgeoning problem of the rich being richer. Clearly, there is much to think about with regards to genetic technology. Though a current moratorium on CRISPR in the US suggests that we may not face its dilemmas at this present day, it doesn't mean that we will never face these problems in the future or in our current daily lives. In fact, there are other medical procedures that are being proceeded today like PGD and IVF that selects for the best embryo to be implanted by examining the traits of multiple embryos. The controversies that we can discuss earlier are not only exclusive to CRISPR, but is universally questioned in the realm of genetic technology. At the same time, we must determine whether CRISPR is really what we envision in the future of medicine, if it can have clinical applications, and whether it is ethically imperative to support this technology, given that the human genome has is not perfect. As we move forward into the future of, with a developing society and the evolution of our species, we must ask ourselves what is essential to mankind, an improvement to the human condition or the ability to love our friends and families, regardless of their imperfections.